As you start working in your document quite a bit and you're using a lot of margin and ruler guides and you have items that are bleeding over that your page becomes really garbled. Um, you have a lot of stuff going on here and you really want to get a good preview of what your document will look like. Well luckily and thankfully InDesign has a couple of features that we can use to take a preview or take a look at our document and what the final outcome of our document will look like when we're done as we're working on it. One way that we can do that is to use the preview mode and I can access the preview mode by hitting the W key on my keyboard and this works when you're not currently editing text. Obviously if you're editing text and you hit the W it's going to put a W in your text. So you want to make sure that you're not within a text frame when you select W but this enters preview mode and we can see when we enter that that it removes the bleeds and it removes all of our guides and our columns that we had here and if I which is nice if we want to preview it but as I'm working in my document I like having those guides so to get back there I'll hit the W key again to bring back those bleed edges and columns and rulers and guides that I have on there now what if I want uh, more space to work within my document? So I want to get rid of these panels and toolbar and control bar that I have across or in my document window. Well, if I hit the tab key, I can get rid of those to conserve or get more real estate out of my work area. So if you ever have a day where you come in to work and this is what InDesign currently looks at, looks like you're starting to freak out press the tab key to bring those back up and uh, there is yet one more thing that we can do which by the way before we get on to that lesson I showed you how we can enter preview mode to get rid of the rulers and the guides and the bleed marks well you can also do that up at the top here from the drop down menu we can see that they're currently selected so if I want to get rid of my frame edges, I can select frame edges. If I want to get rid of my rulers, I can get rid of my rulers there. If I want to get rid of my smart guides. But I like to keep all of these visible as I'm working in my document. And again, I can always hit W or I can hit Shift W to enter presentation mode and presentation mode is very similar to Acrobat's full screen mode and that I can use arrow keys or I can click to go forward and backwards in my document or I can hit the escape key to exit the preview mode and go back to my document. 